Hey, freak show, get down from there. I got you here for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, the man of mystery, also known as Spider Man, right? Peter Parker. Toby, I think, yeah, Toby, Toby McGuire was the one that had played the part. This one right here, I am going to get into this one, but these two right here, they go hand in hand. And it is a wrestling figure channel. So if you are new and you're wondering, Hero Figs, why are you playing with Spider Man? Why not, man? Spider Man is one of those guys that if he ever decided to step into the ring, J Reigns custom, he would bring the customs to that party. And that's who came through on this. J Reigns customs. Dude, again, I cannot thank you enough. This one was one of the figures that I 2018 was my favorite one. Like all from from all of like all, everyone out there that was put, putting in the time and effort on making you know putting in this kind of work, this was was my all time favorite. Here's the actual customs. Here's the remaining parts that I had sent him over. As you can see, we needed a Ryback. That's why we got Ryback arms in there. A Macho Man, actually the exact same one that you just saw, which is that Then Now Forever Macho Man. And also, I think I, I sent him, I can't remember what else I sent him. Oh, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler parts. And check this out. Bonesaw. Is his last name McGraw? That's what he called him. Here's Bonesaw from the Spider-Man movie. Macho Man was the one that had played the part. That's why we needed this. And oh my golly, geez, bro. You have got to be serious with this. This is incredible. This is just like the actual character in the movie, bro. Everything. He got the belt down. He's got the right style of hair, which is, you know, in his later days, it did start fading away. It went from a forehead into a five head. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. This is wicked. So I'll give you the overall detail on this. I want to bring it up nice and close so you guys can see all the stuff that I required to go into this. We also have two more packages. We got um, some fan mail right here from Two, uh, two Sweet Elites. And then also we got uh, an eBay haul. But I want to show you this one first because this one, man, I, I geez. When I first saw him post this early 2018, I was like, at some point in my life, I need to make sure I hit up Jay Reigns and I get this done. Check this out, you guys. So, as I said, formula, right? Ryback was the upper torso. The head that uh, we had gone with was the then now forever, exact same one. And if you look at that one right here, you can see that that's the right one to go with. This is actually the only time that they had introduced this head scan into the Macho Mans. I mean, we've gotten overall anywhere between 10 to 15 elites, maybe even more, but this is the one that just truly reflects Bonesaw. Of course, he did sculpt it, as you can see right here, all the hair. You're not seeing it on this figure, but you're seeing it all on Bonesaw. He also repainted, I think, the eyebrows, the eyes, the beard. My gosh, that beard, that full beard. It is on point. Now the hair right there, it does flare out into a mullet. Again, this is exactly, bro, the way he had it. And all this that you're seeing right here on the on the tights, this is all professionally hand-painted, as you can see right there. That's kind of like the saw, right? I think that's what it's supposed to represent on the silver and red. It's supposed to be kind of like bone saw, right? You say bone saw, you think of a saw. On the side right here, it says bone saw. Does it say bone saw? Bone, yeah, bone saw, as well as on the right side right there. The boots... These are the Dolph Ziggler boots. This is the style that he needed in order to, you know, apply this to the figure. And he repainted all the buckles, all the straps, the front right there, the silver. It is matching as what you're seeing on the tights and the gloves right here. This is kind of like what what Ryback was already wearing. He, I think he just uh, went in there and did a repaint uh, to get all that studded design on the wristbands as well as on the gloves themselves. Now that we've covered this, you guys, this is why I needed to get this done. Now I'm about 75 I would say about 75% complete with the Spider-Man custom. Now, the whole plan and idea, you know, that had originated from this, from the Spider-Man, was to use that Toys R Us exclusive Rey Mysterio. But once I actually got uh, got to actually doing the customizing of the Spider-Man, it didn't work out. I'm going to tell you the reason why. First thing... His lower, from his knees down, I was like, man, I'm going to need a Shane O'Mac, right? We're going to need a Shane McMahon to get that sweat, uh, sweatpants look. And then I started thinking more and more. I'm like, what Shane O'Mac could we use? And I thought, and then I remembered that there was actually the ringside exclusive Shane McMahon 
the pants right here, they were already blue. I was like, well, what's the point, right? That and also, I didn't have to do a repaint. As If you remember, I was going to have to do a complete repaint, go with a darker blue than what we originally saw on this Rey Mysterio, and also torso swap. So instead, I took this approach. I went with the ringside exclusive uh, Shane McMahon for the entire thing. I mean, from ground up, this is what you're seeing right here. The shoes right here. I am going to go in here and actually paint them red the way that he had it. So the plan to, is to, right here on the sides, do do the Nike logo on the left as well as on the right. And also do that, the two red stripes going down the side. For the gloves, I don't, I didn't paint these. These these came off of Rey Mysterio. I can't remember what basic. There's a lot of Rey Mysterios that we've gotten in the line that are just plain white. So I guess just go through the fodder bin or go on eBay. Really, any Rey Mysterio gloves will work. These ones were already white, so I didn't have to paint it. I will have to paint the red, though, that you're not seeing right there on the gloves. And the shirt, custom figure shirts. He's the one that had made the shirt for this. And again, thank you, man. I, I know that there was, this was time consuming for you. So I, you know, I'm very thankful and appreciative of the way that this Spider-Man turned out. Peter Parker, the mask. This came off either the Big Boss Man, which is the one, well, I can't remember what Elite Series, but it was the Big Boss Man, not the Legend Slide, but when, the one that he had, had made the comeback into the line as, you know, with the kind of like the shield attire. That mask had come with it. You could have also gotten this from that playset. It was like a law enforcement playset where you get like a shield, a nightstick. This was one of the masks. I went with that one. That way I didn't have to use the one from the Big Boss Man. The head right here, this... It's uh, it's a it's an old toy base, and the reason why I went with an old toy base head scan is because of the scale and proportions. I feel like that one was just you see how the eyes are like perfectly in there, how they're just sitting flush in there. I tried like a John Cena originally, but the only thing you were seeing was like the forehead, and the big boss man head was way too big. So what I had to do this this part back here that you're seeing this i had to glue it i had to glue it shut because it just kept popping up it wouldn't sit in there right but the shirt right there that's what brings it all together once i do the line work you guys turn on that notification bell man i'm gonna do updated video on what you know the overall finished product looks like and i needed this man these two right here these guys oh man look at this you guys this thing is just incredible this is the uh, oh, I mean, this is how I'm gonna display him. Normally I would display him with all the Macho Man figures, but not these. No way. These are gonna have their own devoted section in the shelf, no doubt. Now, since we are talking about custom figure shirts, I want to thank you again. You did send this one, this P1, the house that AJ Styles built. He did the cutoff style on it. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate this. I just I did put this on that fix up that I did, which was the Elite Series 66 hair onto I think it was the top picks head scan. And I know some people were not a fan of this, but dude, I, I'm gonna tell you this right now. You gotta have this in your hand to actually tr get the true representation of how this is looking. This fix up, dude, I love it. I know people hate it, but personally, I think it turned out solid, especially with that shirt. This next one right here, two sweet elites. And I want to say this to you, sir. Thank you, man. I mean, apart from like sending this my way, I like this how you did this with the WHF logo. He made this special. He wanted to make sure that once this was up on the channel, this left a segment into like the future. And what do you mean by that, Hero Fix? I mean, like, dude, I love you guys, all of you. I, I, I can't stress to you. I know we say this a lot, but I love you guys so much, man. So stinking much, as my son would say. <laughs> you guys are epic. I, I'm very thankful anytime you guys send something, so thanks a lot, bro. And I, I do feel like something is coming out. There might be a note. I see a note. We're going to read it. And I see a Bam Steel chair shot. Oh, what? He wrote something on it. All right, let's read this. It says, hey, Hero Figs, in this package, you will find a Balor Custom, his 2018 Money in the Bank attire, an unpainted Mike Tyson head, CM Punk Nexus shirt, undisputed era chair, and a ring skirt. Hope you enjoy. Big fan of your content. Keep up the sweet work. You know, it's funny you mentioned this, bro. Because when you had sent me a DM on Instagram, one of the, I think it was either the second or third pick that really stood out from your collection was that Mike Tyson head scan. So thank you, man. I, oh, I was actually going to ask you about that. So knowing what's in here, dude, oh, dude, I'm already jumping for joy. All right, here's the chair. As you can see, he did make a custom right here, Undisputed Air. Oh, dude, that is wicked. That is looking really clean, you guys. Look at that. There's the Undisputed Era logo. That is amazing, bro. I don't know how you did that, but love it. 
So it's an undisputed chair, right? Undisputed, uh, hold on. It said, it said it in here. Undisputed era chair, yeah. So here's the chair. Let's get out the rest, you guys. Next up, we have the Raw Is War skirt. Bro, thanks, man. This is awesome. This is, a, I think this is a ringside exclusive uh, ring skirt right here. This is my era, you guys. I think he's, I, two, uh, two Sweet Elites, if you're watching this, I want you to tell me how long you've been on the channel, bro. Because I feel like you know that this was my era. You ask Hero Fakes, what was your favorite era? When did you really get into wrestling? Right here, bro. Thanks a lot. Next up, let's see, there's a shirt. Here's the CM Punk shirt. Actually, you know what? I think this is one of the punk shirts that I actually need um, to complete like the or the CM Punk collection. I think the one that I had purchased when I had gotten this specific Elite, he didn't come with the shirt. So thank you, dude. Next up, let's see what else we got going on here, man. Why'd you write it in the note? I think you just killed the whole like mystery of it all. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. All right, so that's it. It looks like here is the... Whoa! Whoa, hold up. Slow your roll. Slow your roll and check yourself into the Ballard custom figure. Oh, this is wicked, dude. Oh, you need to calm down, Hero Fix. I need to breathe. Hold up. Dude, this is amazing. The way that he did this. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're picking this up on camera. You have to. There's absolutely no way that you're not picking this up. He added the glitter design that you're seeing right there on the blue, on the tights, on the knee pads, on the kick pads, the beard. He sculpted the beard. Dude, I am very pleased with the overall quality of the finish, the fit and finish of the beard right there. I don't have, a, actually, come to think of it, I don't, I've never hit a BEW. BEW is the one that usually does my sculpting work for beards or masks. I've never hit him up for this. So on more than one, dude, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, right here in the corner, he did add the Balor Club on the left side. On the back right here, it's got the red. It's got the red that you're seeing on the knees, on the back of the kick pads, the triangle. Bro, I don't even know if I can continue with this unboxing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am loving this. Look at this, you guys. All the stuff that he sent. He sent the chair. He sent the custom Balor. He sent the custom, or not custom, but the CM Punk shirt that we had originally gotten from. Oh, dude, thank you. Oh, the Mike Tyson. We got to find the Mike Tyson hat. Can't believe I lost it, man. I cannot believe I lost it. Good job, Hero Figs. It was hiding behind the turnbuckle. All right, so this is the unpainted Mike Tyson hat. This one is, it should fit onto a Mattel body. This is actually going to work perfect, dude. I, I have one, but I think the, like the way, at least the way that you painted it and the one that I saw in your custom, I think this one might be a lot better, dude. This thing is looking wicked, bro. I don't know if this came off one of those Storm Collectibles. I think Storm Collectibles was the most recent toy company that has made, you know, a Mike Tyson that should be in scale with the rest of the figures. Now, last, we're still going to continue, man. It's hard to do so because right now I just want to pick them up and <laughs> play with them. For real, dude. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Wicked. So, eBay haul right here. This is uh, Adam Page. Well, parts for Adam Page. for Or not Adam Page. Sorry. For Hangman Page. Let me show you guys. This is going to be part of the Bullet Club. Oh, he threw in the vest. Thanks, dude. This is going to be actually Magnum TA. The reason why we needed this is to make... Yeah, I'm going to need the hairpiece. This hairpiece right here, this is going to be for the Hangman page. I um, I think it was... Who was it? I know BEW had used this hairpiece. There was also another customizer that had done this. I can't think off the top of my head, bro. I'm still lost for words because of that ballot. But we're going to need that hairpiece nonetheless to make that custom uh, hangman page. This is a haul. You guys, if you guys enjoyed this, I want you to, if we reach 500 likes, actually, you know what? I hope we reach 1,000 likes because this baller right here and this macho man, this might be my favorite haul, dude, in quite some time. And I say this a lot, but, bro, I love this. Look at this chair, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.